All right, fuckers and fuckets. Now what we're doing right now is we installing these here XL number 14040 coils on this old GS750 Suzuki. Now the reason I went with 14040s is because um, this is a points ignition. You use the 3 ohm for CDI, you use the 4 ohm for inductive. Points counts as inductive. And if you are stupid enough to use a 1 ohm or a 1.5 ohm coil, either be prepared to buy some hella five fucking condensers and mount them externally outside your points cover, or be prepared to eat a lot of fucking points. Because you'll be tearing it down about every... Pff, fuck, you won't even make it to work. You'll be fucking tearing it down, filing your points, putting it back together. Um, use the 4 ohm coils on anything points. Now, I got my points tower partially off here. And as you can see, all I'm using is a deep well 10 millimeter socket. I got both nuts in my hand now. See that shit? I got them both off there. And got that one to unstuck from inside the socket, too. Pop that bracket up. Top it out. Now, this. The firing order on these old Suzuki's, Yamaha's, Kawasaki, as a general rule, one coil fires the outside two cylinders and the other coil fires the inside two cylinders. I'm pulling the one that fires the outside two cylinders. I've already made my little pigtails. I've made them male and female to match what was on here on stock. The stock um, depends on the manufacturer really. Like uh, Yamaha, you've always got a trigger wire and they're polarity sensitive, uh, meaning you'll get a bigger spark one way than you will the other way. These XL coils, they don't give a shit. They'll give you a big spark either fucking way. Um, and XL even tells you in their book, they, they're not polarity sensitive. Fucking hook them wires up any goddamn way you want. Um, as long as you got one trigger and one constant, they're good. And that applies to the 14.0403s as well. Now, as you can coil? see, this has got a... No, this is the bad one. This is the one where it had, the coil had gone bad and melted the wire right there. Right. And it actually melted through into the coating on the other wire. Right. But this is the one that took down the rectifier and everything else. I already changed out the rectifier. I used that one from that uh, 550 Vision on here. You that from that Yamaha? I just cut off the extra wire and ran it straight to ground like you're supposed to. Oh. And I don't set that son of a bitch down and I needed this. Alright, look. Take your little towers here. And actually, you know what? I almost wonder. I need that up in there because if I put that bracket right there I'm going to have coil hitting the inside of the tank because you see that line right there follows the tank pretty close and that coil will be out here a little bit more round so here's how this shit goes take your studs and spacers off your old one Hey sir, how you doing? How can we help you? Strange request, got a pencil and a piece of paper I could borrow. Yeah, somewhere. He always does. He's one of them organized fuckers. <laughs> I don't know about that, but let me go look at my truck here. I wrote a note and left it lay at the house for a detail guy. Alright, I'm going to grab some bolts that are just that much shorter. Because I'm going to need that little bit of short.
Okay, so I'm not quite that much shorter, but the next step was too short. Now, take my bracket like that. Take my bracket like that. Hold them suckers on there. You know what, I'm going to put some washers in there to take up a little bit more short. Alright, that'll make it step out just a little bit. And I'm going to double up on the washers even though I don't need to. Just to make that stand off a little bit extra long. Don't tighten that shit yet, because you're going to have to adjust it in a minute. Get your get your roundy brackets just like that right there. Go on ahead and get your Allen bolt ready. Boom, like that. Put your little star washer on there. Boom, like that. Pinch it with your fingers so that shit doesn't fall off while you're doing it. Okay. Now, let the other one just kind of flop there for a minute. Slide your first one in and get you an approximate angle. Line the end of your coil up with that right there. Trust me on that. Get a little tight on there with your fingers. Now slip your other one back up. Make sure you get it around your wires without pinching your wires. See that grab right there? Boom, I'm in. Now, pop you another Allen in there. Wash. 
washer. Okay. Sometimes the second one is a pain in the ass. Excel ain't got the sense God gave him to give you. Oh shit. I grabbed the wrong size nut. That's what's wrong there. Alright, that fits. Line everything back up. You want this edge. See it's got a raise and a bump in there. Show you that other call. So it's got a raise and a bump right there. You want the edge of that raise and the bump lined up with that clamp. Now let me uh I should be able to just tighten that by hand real quick. But I don't want it too tight because I still got to adjust it. I do need that one. Hold on. I think we have one right here. to put some standard ass shit in the fucking mix. <sighs> I'm gonna sell a kit for a metric bike and leave me some fucking standard goddamn now. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Anyway, I know I need that down just to come here. Kind of set it up there and get you angled where, because you know you're gonna have boots up under there too. So you got to make sure that everything's going clear.
You don't want to get this too, shit too tight because you don't want to crack your case. But you don't want to leave it too loose either. Especially not at a hundred bucks a coil. You damn sure don't want to crack these cases. Okay, that feels good. I'm sure there's a recommended torque setting for them, but I just know where they feel good and I ain't going to have to go back in them again. And that little star washer is a sort of a lock washer. Um, I don't know what to call them fuckers other than star washers, and they are, like I say, they sort of are a lock washer. They do the same job, basically. Alright, now I shove that on. Shove that on. Ah, oh, shit. Now the fucking thing fell. And hold on. Naturally, it fell someplace where I can't see the son of a bitch. Well, I ain't sure, but I think I grabbed the one that fell the other week. It's alright. I think they're all the same size anyway. Yeah, they're the same size. Might be the one that just fell. Might be the one from last week. We don't fucking know. I don't give a shit either. That motherfucker's going in there. Call in. Move your clutch cable out the way. You know what? That spacer and bracket might have to. That spacer might have to go. What am I hitting on? I'm hitting on that other damn call. Yeah, that spacer's got to go because these are bigger. So what we're gonna do instead? Got to have that in there too. So let me see how that lines up. It lines up pretty good. If I leave one nut in there, I'm going to clear the tank. So, without putting myself in there, because I do need one nut in there, let me get some shorter bolts. poking out a little bit. We're going to reverse the fucking things. So, here's what we do. Well, damn, I didn't know that they was that much bigger around than stock coils. Well, no, because I'm on this bracket, that's why. Because otherwise, if it was a Honda, I'd be right on the fucking post that came with them. Alright, I see what I did. But I had to use these brackets, because otherwise I'd have had to make a 90, and I didn't feel like making a 90 for these. 
Um, this bike's heavy enough, it does not need any extra weight. So I need a lock washer down here. I need this other one to lose its thing so it's not in the fucking way driving me fucking crazy here. It won't cost it much in gas. Hell, I'm already halfway crazy. Well, maybe a little bit more than that. Alright, now I'll admit it. It won't cost it nothing in gas because I'm already there. Uh, Alright. So, let's get started again here. Pop that out the way so I don't damage that fucking wire that I just made. this on there for a spacer. Yeah, shit. things all over the place. I love life. I really do. Kidding, yo. <sighs> Lock washer. Give me another nut. Don't need this flat right now. Man, what doesn't that come off of? You notice I didn't bring either one of them down. Watch this shit. Get this clutch cable out my way here. Back this fucker down. So I can make it clear. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Clutch cable is not interfering with anything. Slide that fucker back to where the whole thing comes in like it's supposed to be. Push that in, you know what? Take your socket, take your finger, and just twist that some bitch in with your socket. Fuck cutting your fingers all up. Make sure that your shit's going to clear this nut up here because you don't want your bolt on top of your touching your um, contact nut. That seems to be as far forward as I'm going to get it. We're going to change tactics here and run this. No, we can't run that through backwards. But we can put this nut on ahead of time. Let's let that other nut go. Grab a damn nut out the box, because that son of a bitch done fell off in the channel. No, it didn't. It's right here. Give me a lock washer on that motherfucker.
coming here down to Lake Tolman and Alligator down. You realize the camera's still on, right? I don't give and a She thing. watches this channel, right? No, she don't want it. <laughs> she don't give anything for that right next year. Yeah, as long as you're sure. Yeah. You know, you know how women are. They'll be snooping on you trying to find ammunition. Alright, where the fuck did I put my goddamn wrench? Alright. Now, I'll take this here. I go like this here. I go like this here. You got to pay that to fart and someone outside. You know, being polite. But this son of a bitch, he just lets them rip right in front of you. Bullshit, motherfucker. You let one rip the other day right there in that back corner of the goddamn room. I'm on that fucking polisher over there. Oh, man. I thought that fucking polish shit smelled like rotten eggs when it got too hot. You smell like something done crawled up in your ass and died, and it's been there for a while, too. It's fucking possible. Alright. Hey, you pig, when you bring his breakfast over, get him get some vino and sprinkle that on the Steak bagel. There we go. That bitch is on there. Now I gotta get this bitch on here. I don't even know where that bitch is. Dennis, I need a nut. It's a 10 millimeter head. Six millimeter. Probably. Six or a 5.5. Probably a six. It's a ten millimeter head, I know that. I gotta fish that fucker back out of this engine in a while. Let's see where the son bitch went. I got that little claw thing I can reach in there with. Now I can get to my, I can put my spark plug boots on conveniently from underneath. You need a washer? No, I got a washer on it already. Okay. So I got to route them and shit. And I'll just make my boots and they'll just mount right there and that will be beautiful, folks. Cool. Yeah, if I can get my fat ass clumsy motherfucking arthritic goddamn beat up Pour up fingers in this son of a bitch, I can get this motherfucker on here. Well, I got aggravated venereal disease. And then I gotta find something to fuck before I can get aggravated venereal disease. Damn it. Your neighbor's dog's looking real good. I mean, you know that's one of them French poodles, too, right? <laughs> I hope y'all out there know that I'm kidding about this shit. Alabama, they prefer goats up there. Well, yeah, and I mean, you know, we wasn't we wasn't doing nothing but helping them sheep through the fence. All right, where the fuck did I just put the goddamn wrench that I had in my motherfucking hand a minute ago? Shit, damn! Leave your ass going tight on there. Man, I'll tell you what. There it is. Are you going to put the new points in? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather put in uh, some Axel condensers than them, but I might have a set. I might have a set upstairs in that um, one of them storage tubs. If I do, though, they're fucking greasy. I'll, I'll just use the ones we got. Alright, now that's on there. And... Where the hell did I just put that damn ratchet? 
See, this is the advantage of doing this shit live for y'all fuckers and fuckettes. There you go. That's just on there. Alright, now all I have to do is plug in my two little wires. Look, wrap them fuckers up under the frame. Don't give them a chance to get pinched up under the tank. That one goes in the... The male goes into the female there. And... Somewhere, run that sucker up under the clutch cable like it's supposed to be instead of on top of it pinching up against the goddamn frame. This female goes into this male here. God damn. That's tight. That's a good pussy right there. That's tight. Sometimes you gotta give them a squeeze. Get that shit in there. There we go, that shit's in there. liquid electric tape. Don't be afraid to make a mess. Just some liquid electric tape on both them connections. Right there. Cover that shit. Come back in half an hour and hit them again. Trust me on that. Now them little seals. A little bit on there doesn't hurt nothing. You can still get it back apart later. There you go. Right now. I'm going to make the, uh, what I'm going to do up under here, I'm going to make these little 90 degree boots, and in just a minute I'm going to show you a poor man's way to make them. I have the right crimper, but I'm going to show you all at home how to do this shit in the next video to where you can put these kind of boots on without having that fancy goddamn XL crimper. Alright, I'll let y'all fuckers and fuck it in a minute.